Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is uh, Monique's Jewels and I was interrupted yesterday evening by a really bad storm. Um, and I think I was on this necklace here and I'll finish it up. It was like tornado warnings and beeping and just carrying on for about two hours. So we kind of laid down and got some rest and everything just kind of moved north, what would that be, northeast. It just barely missed us. So all around our county, up north and west, were tornadoes. Just little funnels coming down, you know, and it just, it gets a little frightening. But we heed the warnings pretty much. You know, we don't sit around, twiddle our thumbs, and go outside and look around. We try to get into the bathroom since I don't have a basement. So we kind of share the bathrooms. Um, the little one is where um, Chanel and the baby would go. And the big, larger one is where I go with the dogs. <laughs> it's crazy. But, you know, it's safer than just sitting around. So we will start with this necklace here. It's approximately almost 16 inches, or right at 16 inches. It is 925. It is like a verme. 925 on there. And it's a little mother of pearl cross with little gold dome beads, or gold beads probably. Gold plated beads, gold plated chain. And. Like I said, I think I showed this, but I didn't get to price it. So I'm going to price this at $6. Hey, baby. Yes. I'm going to lay down. I'm not feeling well. Okay. Right, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Night. So the next thing that I have. Oh, this looks like Japan. Let's see. I think it is. Let's see. Yep, it is. Oh, blinded. Yep, it's Japan. Man, that blinded me. Right there. Pretty beads. These are faceted. These are cool. These are square faceted glass beads right there. Wow. And these are older beads, but they look great. This is a double strand, and it kind of hooks like this, come down like that. I do have Manny, I'm from all Manny. Manny the Manny Mannequin, I can't say that, say that fast. Manny the Manny Mannequin. So there is that. It's very pretty. It is a deeper bluish teal here and a lighter teal there. And we'll put four on that. Very cute. Let's see. Eh, it's not that much. Okay. I'm going to dig. Okay. I have some earrings here. They're really pretty. These are like um, a frosted glass, I think. Like a frosted glass there, and then this looks feels like acrylic. These are pretty. Aren't those neat? Oh, I like these. French bags, that is beautiful. That is like, um, almost like an enameling because the white is down in the little etched out parts. That's so cool. So I'll put three on these. Aren't those nice? And they are about, let's see here, that's an inch. They're about two and a half inches, or two and a quarter, maybe, at the most. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's a big one. 
Okay, this is a. Hold on guys, I'm not sure what this is. This says, oh, it's Graziano. It's, it's a Graziano, hold on. It also says something else. Nope, copyright Graziano. This is really, really pretty. It's a wonderful shade. It is. Let me see if I can get this. It was all twisted. It was a little tangly. Um, this is. Asymmetrical. Um, well, come on, guys. Cooperate with me. Anyway. So this is what you've got. You've got the plastic clear beads here. The black chain. The faux pearl and another black chain. This this is pretty. That's cool. And and like I, I've said many times, all you have to do is twist these around. You just have to um, unhook them and twist them and they'll be perfect. But this one's really, really nice. So I'm going to put six on the Graziano. I'd probably do about a 12, 12 to 15 on it if it was going to be sold online. Let's see. That's all you have to do is put this one back in. Let's see if I did it. Just about. There you go. It's beautiful. It's in excellent shape. Okay, we'll do. Oh, let's do a measurement, which is what I was just getting ready to do. It is approximately. It's, it's about 18 plus. It has a huge extender, so. I've got 18. That's with the smallest one. It's probably gonna be closer to 20 inches. And then you've got, eh, 22 maybe. Wonderful, very good, very good size. Okay, this is neat. I don't think this has a maker mark on it. Doesn't look like it. These were very popular back in the day. This is beautiful. This is like a little choker. It is, it has silver tone, gold tone, a kind of a brown tone. It's really, really sharp. It is really pretty. Look at the colors. Very, very nice condition. The back of it is just gold tone. I guess it's made to wear on both sides, but I love this side. And this is probably about, I'm going to say 14 inches. But this is to fit and sit right, you know, the nape of your, right, the two bones in your neck. Very, very pretty. So let's put, let's see, it's an excellent shape. Let's put four on that. It's beautiful. 
Okay. We got this little bag here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, we have a little, uh, what would you call it? It's adjustable. And the adjustable parts go through that little kind of Van Cleef copy. Show you inside. This is too cute. And it opens for you to get it on. Oh, this is so cool. And then it shuts. It's so cool. Oh my God. Then it shuts to whatever you want it. Look at that. Man, this is nice. So this could be from my size, six and a half to six, six and three quarter, all the way up to probably about an eight. Yeah, this is cool. It's got all its little rhinestones. So I'm gonna put six on this one. It's just very unusual. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. Yeah, that is just too cool. Very nice. Okay. Here's another necklace. I mean, <laughs> here's another necklace, but it's awfully tiny. I don't think it's going to fit anybody. Okay, this is really, really pretty. I'm looking for a maker mark. I, I don't see one. This is so cool. This is made of like hemp. So it's kind of a brownish green. Show it to you up close. And this is so interesting. This has like a box chain that goes around the edge of the hemp. Then we have what would be. Oh, this is so cool. Look at the back of it. And look at the front. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. This is so cool. And I will show it to you. I love it. That is very, very pretty. So it's a light blue and a kind of a golden yellow with uh, rhinestones there and there that are, you know, kind of faceted and they're prong set. This is just too cool. So let's go ahead and put six on this one too. I like that. And this is approximately, this is right at eight inches. Let's bring this up a little bit. Yeah, it's about eight inches. That's wonderful. Hmm. Let's put five on it just because it's so unusual. I like it. Okay. Just finding cool stuff today. Alrighty. This is pretty. This reminds me of a Claire's piece, but it's really cute. It's just a little costume piece. It is a Y. Why? I don't know. No. <laughs> So it's 16 inches. You have some little, just little crystally, tiny little rhinestones there, and that pretty little blue teal, teal blue, teardrop shape. Very cute. Let it sit like this. Do this real quick. And of course, it's back. Oh, the back even looks good. That's nice. I hadn't even checked out the back. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Let's put four on that. That's cute. Excellent condition. Nowhere at all. Isn't that nice? And that's the back. Wonderful. Okay, we have a little, like a 
tennis bracelet, the old, older style. I remember these back in the probably late 60s, early 70s, maybe even before then. This one is in excellent shape. There is no maker mark. I'm looking for rhinestones. Yeah, it's got one missing. Doggone it. How. What a bummer. Okay, I'll show it to you. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's got one missing. Can't even tell, but it's right there. So, I just have to keep it. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see. It's like below, almost. But I'll show it to you. Anyway, I didn't even... I haven't looked at these, so I can't... I don't know. You may have one missing. Isn't that pretty? Okay. That's all right. Wear those with some blue jeans. Okay, this is cute. I have no idea who made this. This is neat. It is got a lobster. It's in excellent shape. I see no name. Look at that gold. That is really gold. Isn't that neat? Show it to you. And the um, little pieces that are on top of the stations, they move. So it's kind of art, almost articulated because they um, they have quite a bit of movement to them. Like they move out and then they move back in. So when you're moving your wrist, they're kind of fluidy. Not pretty. So this is approximately um, let's see. Let's get it up like that. This is right at seven inches, and I'll put, let's put, um, let's put five on this. This is cute. Yeah, you can see it. They go that way, and they go that way, and you can just barely hear it. It's real light, light noise. Not very, not like a big jingle jangle. Would I put five on that? Yeah. That's pretty. Well, I just pulled this one out. This is pretty, too. And it is another lobster, just kind of like that one. Yeah, this is very pretty. This is almost like the charm bracelet type. I'll show it to you. The gold tone is fabulous on this. The lobster's great. The ring is fabulous. Yeah, that is really pretty. There is no wear on this at all. I wouldn't be surprised if this was, you know, if I wasn't not seeing any mark, I would have thought it was probably a Monet. But there is no maker mark. Okay, let's see how big this sucker is. It is right at seven again. Yep, seven inches. So let's do four on this one. Or maybe I would have said Trafari. I don't see anything on that. That's very, very pretty. I'll put it on my arm. Yeah, that's nice. Very good. Okay. And now I'm going to sneeze. Every time. <coughs> Ew. Whew, sorry. And the funny thing is I won't sneeze during the day. I won't sneeze till I come in here and start doing this. It's just weird. Why? Now I've got another bracelet. That's weird. This is... Let me turn it around. This is not marked. This has the safety chain on it. It just needs cleaned up a little. Um, I'll show you the inside of it. This thing is made... It's just excellent. These are cute. These are like leaves. This just needs wiped down. The first leaf has some texture. The second one doesn't. And it goes all the way around. It is in excellent shape. It is heavy. It is thick. It's 
see. It's got the fold over clasp. I still don't see a mark. And this does not come off. This doesn't come off. It doesn't, yeah. Okay. So, let's measure it. This. But you can fold it in half. It's like that flexible. Okay, so, let's fold it in half. So, it is... Right at seven inches. Let me put this on for you real quick. So this will never fall off because it's attached. I mean, it could, but it's um with the safety clasp. I think you would feel it much more than if you didn't have it. Yeah, this this thing is this is neat. Guys, it's so cool. It is really neat. I'm going to put eight on this one. There's the fold over. Yeah, this is nice. This reminds me of Sarah Coventry, honestly. But it doesn't say anything. I'm still looking like I'm going to find something. Okay. Very easy to put on, too. Okay. Go ahead and shut this back. This is beautiful. It's so quiet, I can hear the crickets. It's nice. Okay, put that over there. That's beautiful. Let's see. This is pretty. This is almost like a popcorn chain. I'm not sure what this is called. This is fancy. I don't think it's sterling, but boy, is it pretty. It it goes like th that, like up and down, and it's kind of squished. Um, where is my magnet? Here it is. Stuck. Okay, the clasp is not... But this does not stick. But that doesn't mean anything. But it's just interesting and very pretty. I don't think it's sterling. I should take the clothes. Isn't that cool? And this could wear by itself. It is right at 17 inches. And let's put three dollars on this. It's pretty. Very unusual. Texture is cool. Okay. Hmm. Is that a pendant? This looks like a pendant, but it doesn't have a ring. Isn't that beautiful? It's got that texture faceting. That's the back of it. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Okay, I'll put $3 on that. It just needs a gold tone ring. And you've got yourself a beautiful necklace. Look at that. Love it. Okay. Here's another bracelet. This is gorgeous. Look at the back of it. This has all different kinds of stuff. I think I see some quartz. I see some coral, little coral chips. Um, this is really, really nice. Glass beads, of course. Um, I think that's a little tiger's eye right there. Yeah, a couple tiger's eyes in here. There's another one. Yes, yeah, right there and there. Yeah, this is really pretty. I'll give you a measurement. 
it is seven inches and it is magnetic and it just pops right on look at that not that pretty yeah and from a distance it's just gorgeous that magnet is terrifyingly <laughs> terrifying look you have to really pull it to get it off that's great Got his usual view corpse right there. Um, tiger's eye. It's right there. So this is excellent. This is like a cha-cha. Let's put six on this one. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, I'm digging. Oh, I've got stretches. Stretches and more. That's not a stretchy. Stretchy. How many more? Oh my god. Stretchy. Um, I'll lay that there. I got so much stuff. I'm looking for more stretchies and I'm finding all kinds of stuff I like. Um, I don't see any in here. No. Okay. We have kind of like the one that uh, is, I don't think it tightens. I think that's just how they um, string it and keep it, keep the beads on. These are like mosaic um, splatter painted beads are cute they are really cute the beads alone are worth you know too cute I'll put three on those just for the beads very nice um, these are glass these are beautiful crystal like lead crystal beads Beautiful. Like I said, people don't know how to... That should always be sh cut off and inside of a bead. But that's gorgeous. So I'm going to do a bundle because these are beautiful. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. Now this is the mermaid bead stuff. Okay, but these three... The fasting on this one is that um, almost like the disco ball, and it is a beautiful gray, crystal gray. This, I mean, a like a yeah, it's metal, like a metal color. This one is a AB crystal with a gray, smoky gray. Beautiful colors here. Yeah, I had almost thought about keeping these and remaking it, something. But they're just so pretty. So we'll do these three. We'll do these for six. Yeah, these are gorgeous beads, guys. Can you feel them? Ah, that would be pretty just like that. Seriously. You wouldn't even have to restring them because they're strung on that really nice thread. Okay, three for six. Okay, and the mermaid, I think I'm going to keep. This one is also almost like the mermaid. It's kind of, it needs a little work. This is what I was thinking about doing, was kind of incorporating these frosted in with this mermaid glass. I'm making two, so maybe I'll have something to do tomorrow during the day before I do a video. But I'm going to go ahead and keep those. Okay, I've got a turtle. And he is so cute. He's got little black rhinestone eyes. <laughs> he is cute. He does not say anything. He has a cute little bell. I thought maybe he was 925, but nope, no such luck. He will be attracted to, well, 
He's not attracted, but I don't think so, guys. Yeah, this would be marked. Yeah, that's pretty. The little rhinestones in his back are AB, you guys. So this little guy, I'll put three on it. Let's see if that says I'm done. No. Okay, so this little cutie will be three dollars. I might just have to make a turtle my spirit animal because I'm just getting gobs of them. So this is 18 inches. Very, very nice. $3 for the turtle. Put him there. Okay, we're at 30 minutes. That's great. Now, this is plunder, and this thing is in excellent shape. It is beautiful. I'll show you the gold tone. The way it looks there, the plunder, the inside, and then this is the outside. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to open it up. It has quite an extender on it. I'll try to open it up. I love their stuff. Their stuff is so Okay, so if we go from the lobster, I usually do the center of the lobster to like the end of the bracelet, it's right at seven. But with the extender, it'll go all the way to eight, and that's kind of how they had it. So for me, I would go to the seven, and then I have a little dangle, but this is exquisitely pretty. And let me get the, um, let me make sure all the rhinestones are there, guys. Let's see. Yep. Yep, there's nothing missing. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if this will work or not. Ooh. Yep, they're all there. They're shiny. Okay, stop it. Okay. So, I think we'll put eight on the plunder. Love it. It's pretty nice. Okay. Changing lanes a little bit here. Um, this is actually silver plate. Uh, the plating is coming off. Um, it's really, really pretty. I hate that. It's got a stone missing, but this thing is huge. Look at that. And that is the stone that's missing up here. It's missing right there. This thing is spectacular. You have to have a huge chain for this. You can see the wear. The wear is right here. And along these places that would probably touch the shirt. Um, there's no maker mark. Yeah, so I don't know if that'll hold it. Nope. Um hmm, I'm looking for something. I don't see anything that would hold it up. I was looking for something that would oh we'll just do this, my finger. It's really pretty. Because I had to do about a triple take on it. I looked at it, and I looked at it again, and I was like, oh my God. That is beautiful. A little, a little big. But I mean, the silver tone on the front is gorgeous. The, the stones are just beautiful. Um, I don't know. I think we'll do seven on it. And like I said, that's the only stone missing right there. So we we'll just do seven on it. It is um, three, just a little over three and a half inches. So it's not like five feet, you know, it's not huge. So there's that. And he's a little weighty. <laughs> 
this is over here. I've got a butterfly ring. And she's pretty. She looks like she's ready to fly away. She's not, um, to me, I was just thinking Avon, but it's not, it's, yeah, a free costume. More so than, um, very pretty. She does not, um, open and close. She's not, um, nine almost nine and a half nine and a quarter but she's pretty kind of frosty so we'll put let's put three on her there is no wear looks brand new there's no wear on it so we'll do three on her okay oh i like this bracelet it's got a stone missing, though. It says, it, it's got the serenity prayer that goes all the way around it. It's just beautiful. Oh, that stone's not missing. What am I thinking? Where was the stone missing? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm losing my mind. No, that stone's not missing. I'll show you. I was thinking, since that one's just a tiny bit darker, I was thinking it was missing, but it's not. And that is great. I don't see a maker on this one. But it has the whole serenity prayer. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. That was always a prayer that I would hear, you know, that I would see in writing and stuff that I would be like, yes, that's what I need. Isn't that pretty? So it does have three little rhinestones. It's a little bit bigger. Um, let me measure it across real quick. It should be almost, wow, it's two and three quarter. A two and five eighths, two and six eighths. It's almost three. <laughs> it is almost three across. No, it's two and three fourths. So it's a nice size. Um, it's an excellent shape. I'll show you the inside. There's no wear on it. So let's do four on the Serenity Prayer. I like the. It's even designed. The words are a little different, you know, different font. And then you've got the four stones there. Okay, we'll do four on that one. Let's see. And like I said, we um, didn't get to do the half yes yesterday evening, so that's fine. We'll probably have to do one more after this one. These are cute. Um, I'm not sure who these are by, but they are just darling. These are little pierced earrings, so they would sit just like this on your ear. The um, It's up here in this corner. So there's that. The cabochon is a, feels plastic. It's a nice, it, it's a nice look. It's between an orange and a brown. You know what I mean? These are real pretty. So let's put three on these. I like these. Those are nice. They're in excellent shape. Okay. And they are right at... Let's see. I'll show you here. They are an inch. Like an inch square. Very nice. And they're not real heavy. They're well made as far as heavy that way, but they're not heavy to where they'd hurt your ears. Okay. Uh, something was shut in the drawer. That's funny. Okay. I think I'll leave a couple of these pieces for tomorrow. 
which you know, which is fine. Um, and then we'll start on the sterling on Monday. I know you're inundated with sterling. Um, I love sterling, so I don't care, but I just this needs to be cleaned. It has stones, it's really pretty. It has what looks like little glass pieces. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Yeah, it's no big deal. It's just kind of dirty. Let's put this in crafts, but if somebody's interested in it, it's about 16 inches. I'll show it to you. It's just very different. And those, I don't believe these are stones. I, I just can't tell. Little pieces of glass, maybe. And um, we'll just do a dollar on that. And put these in craft. I'll set it over here so I don't forget. Um, this is really pretty. Now this has, this is Elsie. No, let me see. Hold on. LCI? CLCI? Is that a thing? C-L-C-I. I'm, I don't know. But it's pretty. It's an older. I do believe that this is trying to mimic like a rose pattern. Um, it has a fold over. Let's see if I can get it to flatten out here. I'll probably inside itself once. There we go. Okay, and then we have a tag here. Okay, let's see what this is. LCI. Let's look it up. Is that... No, it looks too old. Um, LCI bracelet. LCI bracelet. Right. Hmm. Now it's showing quite a Liz Claiborne, I suppose. Vintage. Okay. Hmm. Okay. LCI, Liz Claiborne. Silver tone. Okay. That makes sense. Um. They go for a little bit of money. That's cool. Um, eh, 10, 12 bucks. That's online. I'll show you the mark here. There's the mark. Get this upside down. For, no. And then there is this little tag here, which is cool. There's this little tag. I think that's, no, is that Liz Claiborne that used to have the perfume that came in a, like a triangle? Yeah. I think it might be back in the day. I still wear, um, um, what is it? Perry Ellis. <laughs> I still wear Perry Ellis 360 for women. I wear Coach. I wear Fantasy by Britney Spears. It depends on how it smells on you. I used to wear Angel by Theri. Um, and then I found a knockoff that was just as good. I was in Indianapolis and somebody came all the way across 
from where we were walking and said, you're wearing Angel, aren't you? And I knew that that knockoff was, you know, a heck of a brand. It was a fabulous brand. But if I was going to buy it now, I would buy the, the real. It's a little powdery. It's a little. But, you know, my first perfume was Chanel, number five. That's why my daughter has her name. This is cool. Okay, so let's get... It is about seven and a half. And I'll show you these little medallions are so cute. I'm trying to get this undone. This is another one that you can just retwist inside itself. Let's see. Come on. Is that it? No. But I hope you guys aren't having bad weather. Right before I started the video, it started raining. I was like, no. I mean, pouring. I was like, oh, God, not again. Because that's, you know, when you've got family and kids and pets and stuff, you got to protect them. <laughs> so I was like, okay, here we go. To the bathroom it is. Which I don't mind. But, um. That is what the medallions looked like. Oh, come on. They're really pretty. And it looks very antique. But I think it's, um, just fake. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be looking older than it really is. I think it's very pretty. It's lightweight, and I think it'd be very attractive. You know, from a distance, your little coin dangles. So let's put five on that. Sorry, I'm kind of getting off on a, what is this? Oh, is it, is it? No, no, it's not. Well, it might be. It might be rhodium plated. Does it say anything? No, it does not. No, it does not. Okay. Okay. This is so cute, though. You know what? This is probably an anklet. And it's sticking to the magnet, so I don't think it's anything precious. Um... Let me try to get it off of here. Measure it. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a bracelet. No, it's just a bracelet. Sometimes it's hard to tell. That is right at eight inches. It's just a silver tone. Um, pretty little bracelet. Almost a Figaro, but not quite. It is really cute. It's a little bit bigger. They just kind of hang down like that. Wonderful. Very pretty. So we'll do three on that, and that is eight inches. It's in perfect shape. There is no wear. That's why I thought it was sterling. It kind of rhodium plated sterling, but it's not. Okay, guys, we got a fossil. Let's see if it's in good shape or not. Yeah, pretty good. It is on that, um, hmm. It's on um, leather, like a leather cording. I don't know about this, guys. Let me see what's going on here. I think we got missing rhinestones. Yes, of course. Of course we do. <sighs> okay, never mind. It's a dollar. It's a fossil. It is cute, but it's got some missing rhinestones. And it's got the key. And it says fossil, fossil, fossil. <sighs> the ones I really think are cool. Now this is darling. This has got a Mickey Mouse on it. Okay. I think I hear light thunder again. This is too cute. It is. No, I think those are fireworks. It's not sterling. <laughs> it is not sterling. 
but I'll show you. Um, I think it goes, half of it goes this way and the other half of it goes back the other way. Kind of like, yeah. Yeah, I think that's weird. No, that's all right. That's just the way it goes. It goes just like this and it hooks there and then you've got the little dangle. Every time that happens, it scares me. I don't know if you remember or not, yesterday, right before I had to go, <laughs> my phone did that noise, right, like three or four times. I had gotten two emergency emails and two emergency um, texts for the weather, for the tornado warning. So I'm going to have to be a little more vigilant. Okay, this is so cute, guys. Look at this. It's Mickey. And then it's like the circle where the little Mickey head has been cut out. Yeah, it just started pouring. Isn't that amazing? Can you hear it? It sounds beautiful. I don't mind the rain. I just don't like the horrible storm. So this is really, really cute. So I think this is the end of it right there. So it is right at 7 little less than seven inches and we'll put three dollars on that that's just too cute and i'll show you the mickey one more time there's the mickey and that's that and it's just dainty and just cute as a button so for three dollars you can't go wrong what was that uh -huh. i just knocked off my pretty little turtle okay Let's see what that was. Make sure it's not a storm warning, guys. Come on. No, I don't see it. Okay. Oh, maybe it is. Hold on. Tim Ford. No, that was a long time ago. Strong thunderstorm was located. Okay. That is a little bit south of here. Okay. Keep right there. Ooh. But it probably covers part of our county. That's why I got it. It's it's eleven twenty five. It's yeah. Okay, let's see what that was. Oh, we're good. So it's almost time to go anyway. Um, we're at 53 minutes. Let me do a couple more. And I still have some really nice stuff. <gasps> you guys, another turtle. This is hysterical. Oh my God, no. Oh, he's cute. But he has no head. In the world, what the world? Oh, he's like a box turtle. That's his, that's the bottom of him. That's his head. He's like a just a little paint turtle or something. That's weird. So, this is like, <laughs> oh boy. Maybe his head is in his shell. Let's just put two dollars on this. It is. It is almost eighteen inches too. Not bad. Two dollars. Okay, we have a vintage. Um. One of those really weird. This is almost like gunmetal. This is kind of cool. Okay, this is that almost like cross chain where it's got four sides four squares four sides to it there's one two three and four so it's very neat Let's see. and 
It looks good up here. Very nice. And it is, let's see, how many inches here? It is 18 and a half, so, I mean, six, so that's about 17 inches. That'd be nice for a vintage pendant or something, you know, something unusual. I don't have any pendants that I could put on there that are unusual. But um, let's put three on that. That's nice. And then, um, this is pretty. This is real pretty. Um, I have no idea. Let me see if it's everything's on here. I think it is. It's got pink rhinestones. It's come on. There we go. It's got like pink rhinestones. And it look doesn't look too bad. It's got a little a little bit of wear up through here, but it is a definite choker. Um, y necklace it is. 14 inches. It's really pretty. These are the pinks. I think that just needs a little wipe down. And it's got quite an extender. So let's do three dollars on that. That's pretty cute. Okay, and then this one. Hmm. This has the letter E and a little pink thing. I don't believe it's sterling. No, it's not. So I just put this in the craft lot for a dollar, but it's really cute. You've got the pink and the E right there. And the necklace, and it is 16 inches. It's not really got any wear too much to, you know what I mean? It's not going in craft because of the wear. It's going in craft. It's just so light. But it's cute. So that would be a dollar. I'm so sorry about that fossil. I really like that. This is pretty. Okay, this doesn't have a make a mark. Hmm. This is really well made. This has got, are those just little squares? Yeah. This is the dark gun metal. You have a really nice um, lobster, very nice round connector piece here. Let me put it here. Let's see. Yeah, it's like hematite. Little hematite squares. This is so cute. Show it to you close up. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Here, I'll pull it like this. I love it. And it's got that nice lobster, and it's got this here. And it's like in really good condition. And I will double it. I'm going to measure it real quick. And it is about 15 inches. Yeah, this is just so cute. That's what it looks like. This looks like my hematite squares. And then they, these are like the little um, filigree, little um, lacy pieces that they're on. That's lovely. So let's put three on that one. We'll do one more. And then we'll, of course, keep going tomorrow. The one's so late, I do one more, but it's okay. Oh, we got a hematite with a barrel clasp. 
I don't think this is magnetic either. Well, yeah, it is, but it's it's not sticking to itself. This is cute. We've got some what could be plastic for all I know. And some stone. Looks like little stones. They're cold. And this hematite pendant is so cute. It's the back and this is the front. You guys, that is so neat. I like it very much. It's going to be very pretty. With a summer dress. That would be so cute. Like I said, these are cold. These could be a heavy plastic. I don't want to say there's something in there. Not. This is right at... 18 inches. This is wonderful. Yeah, it looks in great condition. Hematite with some green stone, probably a venturine or something. And a sun. Beautiful. Okay, we'll put four on that. And I'll leave this right here and we will come back and finish doing more tomorrow. Yeah, we might be able to do two tomorrow evening and, and get this whole tray finished. All right. Okay. You guys have a wonderful evening. I pray everybody has a safe and lovely Sunday tomorrow. And um, I hope your weather is better than our sounds right at the moment. But we will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. We are almost at 400, so I'm just really excited. Okay, guys, talk to you tomorrow. Thanks again.